Hi everyone, I'm Frank Somerville, and today I want to talk about a woman from here in the Bay Area who I think is absolutely remarkable. Her name is Michelle Jarrett, and she just donated one of her kidneys to someone who she didn't even know. His name is Anthony Abinia. He's 46 years old, his kidneys are failing, and he has two young kids. And his wife, Ann, was desperate to help him, especially when she learned that the waiting list for a kidney transplant was eight years. Just by chance, she happened to run into Michelle. Michelle heard the story, she got tested, she matched, and even though she'd never met Anthony, she decided to give him one of her kidneys. She says, I thought about his two beautiful kids, their eight-year-old and their 10-year-old, and I thought it would be so unfortunate for them to grow up without their father. The operation was on July 30th, and it went just as planned. In fact, Anthony now says, I feel fantastic, excited, happy. I feel a whole new world around me. Before the surgery, I felt like my life was just slipping away. I was always tired, my concentration was low, but now I feel whole again. I asked Anthony and his wife, Ann, what were the last things that they said to each other before he went in for the transplant? She says that she told him, you know I love you, you know I need you, and I need you right now to be strong. And Anthony responded, I just can't believe this is happening to me. Then when he came out, the first thing he said was, it's done. It's over. And his wife said, I love you. This is a picture of Michelle and Anthony on separate gurneys right next to each other just before the operation started. I, th I think this picture is, is so touching. Uh, on the left there, you have a person giving life to another just because she thought it was the right thing to do. I asked Michelle if she ever had any second thoughts, and she said, I never had a second thought. In situations like this, I typically follow my heart. Michelle says her family was 100% behind her. In fact, it kind of cracks me up because the last thing her husband said to her before she went under, he said, see you later, kiddo. Can you imagine? I don't know if I could have done what Michelle did. I'd like to think that I would, but honestly, I don't know. I am signed up as a donor. In fact, this is a picture of my license, and you can see the donor dot right there, but that's only if I die. To donate while you're still alive to someone you don't even know, that takes a special person. And I thought this quote from Michelle pretty much says everything you need to know about her. She said, I like to lead by example and let people know that they don't have to be afraid to do something like this. I'm amazed at how fast I'm recovering. I was prepared for a much more difficult journey than it's been. And I'm so grateful to have been able to give this special gift to keep his beautiful family together. Isn't that something? As for Anthony and his wife, Amy, they say that words can't even begin to describe how thankful they are. Amy says, I don't even know how you can thank someone for doing that. And I wonder if my boys, when they're old enough to really understand, I wonder if they'll look back and think, wow, I have my father because someone gave a kidney to him. Amy says, I don't know that we'll ever be able to thank Michelle. This is way bigger than just a thank you. Think about it. Anthony's entire life changed by a complete stranger out of the goodness of her heart. Anthony says, I feel kind of weird, like I have something of Michelle's, like I'm babysitting her kidney and taking care of it for her. I think one of the best things she said was, go out and be well, and go out and be well will always be in my heart. I hope you have a great week. Anthony and his family sure are. And I'd like to ask that just maybe, maybe, you consider becoming a donor because the fact is there are so many other Anthony's out there just waiting. Stay strong and see you again next week.